Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we're on Lesson 318. In me, salvation's means and end are one. In me, God's holy Son are reconciled all parts of heaven's plan to save the world. What could conflict when all the parts have but one purpose and one aim? How could there be a single part that stands alone, or one of more or less importance than the rest? I am the means by which God's Son is saved, because salvation's purpose is to find the sinlessness that God has placed in me. I was created as the thing I seek. I am the gold the world is seeking for. I am God's Son, His one eternal love. I am salvation's means and end as well. Let me today, my Father, take the role you offer in me, your request that I accept atonement for myself. For thus does what is thereby reconciled in me become as surely reconciled to you. I'll read this again. In me, salvation's means and end are one. In me, God's holy son, are reconciled all parts of heaven's plan to save the world. What could conflict when all the parts have but one purpose and one aim? How could there be a single part that stands alone, or one or more or less importance than the rest? I am the means by which God's Son is saved, because salvation's purpose is to find the sinlessness that God has placed in me. I was created as the thing I seek. I am the gold the world is searching for. I am God's Son, His one eternal love. I am salvation's means and end as well. Let me, Father, today, Take the role you offer me in your request that I accept atonement for myself. For thus does what is hereby reconciled in me become as surely reconciled to you. It's a great lesson. And I'm not sure I have much to add to it. We are one. It's all one. We are all God in expression. So I hope you have a beautiful day with us today. If you need me, you can reach out to me, 907-351-3003. You can message me on Facebook, YouTube, SoundCloud, lindalamp.com, and lindalamp.shop. Until tomorrow, namaste and much love.